Okay. Alright. So, yeah. All right, so let me know. Like, you can move around the boxes, you can like tell me what you think about the Mona Lisa. So yeah, this is just things that storing around still need to be put away somewhere. You know, I see Juan, Juan kind of like as, as a form of a metaphor, as um, Pablo Picasso, Basquiat, and uh, all these hyper-realism artists such as Dali into one little machine. You know, my grandfather, he's the one who founded the gallery here in Mexico City in 1960, and he always uh, told Juan Carlos that he was going to be the, the next uh, Pablo Picasso, right? My name is Juan Carlos Cristobal. I'm a color pencil artist from Brownsville, Texas. I make very hyper-realistic uh, works of art. Pop art kind of reimagined. This is a print though. This is not an original. This is a print of a um, Marlboro um, box that I did back in 2018, I think. Um, yeah, so this, the original, it sold like in 2019, I think. And at the time, like what, what I guess what I was really feeling, I could only really associate it for some reason to a box of cigarettes, even though I never personally smoked. Basically the Marlboro, you know, um, box or the logo, it has a positive and negative connotations. Uh, first of all, we have to talk about the details, you know, details are really well executed. And then you, as a viewer, you know, you won't see the details. It takes you to a different, you know, state of mind. And that state of mind basically takes you to the concept and then, and that concept gets into, you know, the meaning. And the meaning is so, so precise. The way he actually crumbled the, the box, I think he's just talking about the, the first situation, the feelings, or certain stuff that actually is happening within his uh, life. I finished up this new drawing that I started, a 9x12 Muhammad Ali, that was, it was a new endeavor for me. That was a drawing that could really show me like my limits. Cause it's like so technically intense. That's a like, damn, I did that. Like that's what I'm capable of. Okay, let's see what else I can do. Um, the summer after I did the Muhammad Ali, I went home here to Brownsville and I was dating this chick and I was just getting into all sorts of trouble and I get arrested. Wrong place, wrong time kind of thing. Um, yeah. Sorry, dude. I need to like take a little break. Yeah, Just like. What else? He comes from a very tight-knit family. Um, we've always tried to be very communicative and like supportive of each other. So I think in those times where he hit rock bottom, we, were married, we made it a point to show that we were there, that we supported him, but that this was not a reflection of who he was. No, me gustaría que eso no hablara nada más él. Para mí todos. Se toma lo que es y listo, ¿no? Y todo el mundo somos seres humanos y todos hacemos cosas buenas y todos tenemos algunos tropiezos y demás. Entonces son, son golpes que la vida te da y que tienes que aprender. Having to have that guilt and bear that weight on my shoulders of the decision that I made, one simple little and you get arrested. That's what made me change like so much. So we ran into Vivian's gallery. Uh, and you know, as soon as we got in, we met this this guy, uh, Michael, Michael Vivian's, who is actually the owner. At the time, I really just had the Marlboro drawing and the Muhammad Ali. And uh, Michael was quite surprised because he didn't actually thought at the beginning that it was, all these paintings were made with a, with a pencil, right? Uh, it looked more like like a like a photograph or, or whatever. And as soon as we told him that it was it was all drawn, you know, by hand with a pencil, he was immediately drawn to it. So I had the idea of you doing a Campbell scan.
are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. Wow. How do you describe your artwork? Well, I like to think of it as a very meticulous way of addressing something that's so iconic. Yeah. So it takes a lot of time and a lot of patience, but you know, the end result is so worth it. Let's see a different one over here with more stuff. What's in here? These are random little ink work sketches. 